Hello folks, welcome for I am the one and the only, I am Hobo Tom. Oh, this is what happens when I use announcer voice. There we go, get rid of that reverb. Yep, I'm here and we're going to have a guest on shortly after I lock up the tequila. It's the last time someone had free range of over my precious booze and I'm not happy about that. Very disappointed in someone. But, you know what, as always, hit. There we go. I'm in a better mood now. And the reason why I'm in a good mood is because there's actually a lot of wrestling this weekend. But unfortunately, I won't be able to watch any of it because I'm going to be working. I have to go work the motorcycle races, which, don't worry folks, you will be getting a bonus video um, probably in two weeks about what happens here in Daytona Beach at, for Bike Week. Because one, I do plan to go to Bike Week just to see what it looks like. Get a little view of all that fun stuff, especially during the week. During the week, it's so much calmer. Weekends, you do not want to be there. And there are certain places that no and no. There are certain places I refuse to go. I'm not going to Cabbage Patch. That hive of scum and villainy. Or the Boot Hill Saloon. God knows. Listen, folks, there are diseases worse than COVID-19. And you can get those at those two places, okay? Plus probably food poisoning because they have women roll around in coleslaw. I like coleslaw, though. But not on women. I wonder if that gets... Ah, I don't even want to think about that. But you know what? So again, I won't be watching anything. I won't be doing a review. I'll, I'll give myself a rating. I'll, I'll catch the highlights of it. But, yep. Let's talk about some pro wrestling. Again, two big shows. We're going to have one guest come in very shortly again after I hide all my tequila. And... What, what, was, what was it? I forgot. I'm getting old. Oh, yeah. Two big shows. The first show, set this Saturday, 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 uh, March 5th. Remember, I'm still on my suspension. That goes, I think, for another month. I should be able to see Ray De Reyes. I should be able to live stream maybe even WrestleMania. I do not know yet. But, um, yeah, so this is just going to be a bunch of reviews. I promise I'll be a better hobo. I, I thought something was bad was going to happen, so yeah. Let's start off with the undercard. I think the, op the preliminary matches. We're going to have Lady Frost versus Gazelle Shaw. I don't know. You know what? And it really doesn't matter because I would sleep through this match anyway. I'll say Lady Frost wins because they pushed her a lot at the knockouts tournament thing. And we're also going to have probably on the undercard. I don't know if it's going to be on the, on the undercard. I don't know. It might be on the main card. You know what? Let's just say it starts off with the main card. Mickey James taking on Tasha Seals for a second time. You know, this is kind of like a glorified TV show. It's like that step beneath it. It is their impact special. So, yeah. So, you know what? Mickey James keeps her title. Tasha Seals loses again. Uh, we have The Kingdom versus Rich Swan and Willie Mack. This, folks, is my match of the night. But I'll tell you what. The Kingdom can go. Uh, the Miracle, Mike Bennett, and Matt Tavin taking on Rich Swan. I think it's Matt Tavin. Well, Rich Swan and Willie Mack. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Um, I have the Kingdom winning. Yeah, for some reason, yeah, they just seem right. Uh, then we'll have the X Division champion, Trey Miguel, defending his title against Jake something. Trey Miguel's going to win that. I don't have any titles changing hands. I just don't see it. Um, the Inspiration! Billy K with that big, round, juicy booty of hers. Taking on the influence of equally juicy booty. 
Madison Rain and a little bit flatter booty Tennille Dashwood. Um, Inspiration are going to keep their belts. They're going to be around for a while. Then, oh, there's only one way. I should have put this on. I almost forgot about this. Mainly because it's getting everything else ready. So let's see here. Turn the volume up a teeny tiny bit. Let's go to that special page of mine. Let's look up that key phrase that is too sweet. Uh oh, you know what that means. You know what you're going to hear very shortly. So, oh, there's only one song like it and nothing else like it. Baby! Yes, that's right. You know it, folks. It's gonna be the original OG Bullet Club, Doc Gallows, the Machine Gun, Carl Anderson. Yep, Bullet Club. And they are going to take on Violent by Design for the Impact Tag Team Belts. Then you have Jonah taking on PCO. I don't know. PCO is the only guy from um, Without Honor that I've that I've losing. Jonah's going to win. He 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 lost last time. He has to win. Eddie Edwards is going to defeat Rhino, and then wait a second, what's what's this? I I, I feel, I don't know. This could be something special. Could be something a little switch. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna have also from Bullet Club. Who else is two? Sweet. We have the Switchblade himself. This is for life. The Switchblade Jay White is going to take on obviously non Bullet Club member Alex Shelley. Jay White wins. I don't see I don't see him chopping out to anyone. And then in the main event, we have the one, the only. Moose from Moose Nation because he's Moose. Yes, Moose takes on Heath Slater. This, folks, is my stone cold lock. Moose from Moose Nation wins, and that's going to be Impact Sacrifice. Yes. Such an interesting title. Um, so let's see here. Ah. There's only one person that knocks like that. <laughs> you know what? I still have that bottle of tequila. Hola! Señores y señoras y señoritas. Yes, for I am the one, the only. I am Ijo del Homo el Vagabundo. So you know what? You know what's gonna be playing. Hit. Come on. Yes, and that's right. Senor Hobo Tom gave me the distinct pleasure of talking about the main event, El Event Grande. That's going to be I-A-W. Revolution. We say we want a revolution. Oh, hey. Yes. I will not sing it in Mexican because it doesn't carry the same thing. Um, so, yeah. A-W Revolution is this. Sabado, Sabado, Sabado. I think. If not, 
Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So yeah, let's go through Senior Hobo Tom. It's kind enough. I do have to write some notes down on this though. Um, jeez, so many givens. Let's see here. So you're gonna be that. Jeez. Snooze through that. Siesta time. And Stone Cold Luck. Could be so many. There we go. Bien. 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 Let's see here. So let's go through this card as I think it's going to happen. I'm just taking a wild guess. Um, we have the Hardy family with Andrade. Andrade Sir Almas. Taking on Sting, Darby Allen, and Senor Sammy Guevara. El Spanish Deus. El España Deus. Yeah. My, my Mexican's getting better every day. Yeah, right. Um, you know what? I have the faces winning. Hardy family is in all disorder. Andrade El Hilo has an absolutely nothing. Sting, Senior Sting, Senior Darby Allen, and El Hispania Deus, Sammy Guevara, they win. And then I don't know. I might take a siesta during this match. Because I know Senior Hobo Tom has to work. Sucker. Should just leave that job anyway. It's going to be Jade Cargill versus Ty Conti. Ooh, something interesting could happen in this match. Something could come out. Or something could fall out. Or something could be stretched. You never know. Again, Ty Conti is Brazilian and has all those Brazilian attributes. So yeah, but you know what? This is, Jay Cargill really hasn't had a good match. The referee was calling spots for her a couple of matches ago. Jade Cargill wins, but I don't care. I, I'm, I'm just taking a siesta during this match. And then we'll probably have Chris Jericho versus Senior Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston is going to teach Chris Jericho a lesson. Don't disrespect Eddie Kingston. Um, yeah, Eddie Kingston wins. And then my... Match de la noche. You have the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, taking on Chan the Wild Thing. Dun, 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 dun. You make my heart sing. Dun, 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 dun. You make everything groove, eh? Wow, thing I think I love you, but I wanna know for sure. Do, 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 do. Yeah, John Moxley. Um, <sighs> Brian Danielson is gonna win. He's gonna prove to John Moxley that those two should be a tag team. Again. Match de la noche. Then we'll have the tag team triple threat, which is different from the first trios match. So we'll have Jurassic Express, comprising of Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, taking on Red Dragon, which is Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, formerly. And then again, taking on the Young Bucks, the Bucks of Youth. Yes. Um, yeah, just like the t-shirt I stole from, from Senior Hobo Tom says. Young Bucks. Um, let's see here. I have Red Dragon, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish winning somehow. 
Don't know why, but yeah, who knows. And then we have, this will probably be the first match, that weird, like, leader of the revolution match, leader of the revolution ladder match, or whatever they call it. It's Keith Lee versus Wardlow versus Ricky Starks versus Powerhouse Hobbs versus Orange Cassidy versus, check this out, I'm going to predict Bray Wyatt, man. The eater of worlds, man. Hey, brother, man. How are you? I can't use that voice. Because that voice will, will bring Broken Tom. And he is not nice. He does not like tequila. He likes to put women in cages and make them fight. For tequila. Yeah. Broken Tom is a very, very, very... Bad individual. And he smells too. But yeah, Bray Wyatt is going to be my surprise entrant for this. And like they've always, they do have a history of having their surprise entrant win. They did it with Ruby Wright before they buried her. They did it with Brian Cage before they buried him. Wait a second. I'm seeing a pattern here. This is odd. Hmm. Bray Wyatt wins. And whatever. Um, Wyndham Rotundo, I think he's using his name. I don't know if he's using his real name. Or his dad's name. Or a combination of everything. But yeah, Bray Wyatt. And then, in my stone cold Lock of the night. We have. Oh, wait a second. There's, there can only be one way to introduce this person. Let's see here. How does the hobo do this? Let's see here. Let's see if I can actually get this to work. No. What? Why, why are the ads? I thought. I thought he pays his bills for all this stuff. What's, what's, I have to leave a note saying he has to upgrade or something. Let's see here. That's right. It is the cult of personality himself. C.M. Punk. Personality. He's going to take on... M, that dastardly MJF. And you know what? This time, MJF is going to be singing the Cult of Personality because, guess what? CM Punk's going to win. Again, that's my Stone Cold Lock. And then, in the main event of the evening, we have... The Hangman, Adam Page. Wait, that's the wrong Adam. Versus this Adam. Wait, who's this? Who could this be? Bebe. Yep. The one and only. Let's see it. Supposed to come up here. No. Wait, where is it? Come on. Dun, 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 dun. It's, it is Adam Cole, baby! Cole, baby! Adam Cole, baby! Yeah. It's gonna be. Oh, that's too low. There we go. It's gonna be Adam Cole, baby! Boom! So, in this match, Adam Cole, baby, doesn't have the boom. He looks, he actually looks a lot smaller than Adam Page, which is kind of scary. So, therefore, I'm just going to take a wild guess. I can't see Adam Cole as a champion for some reason. 
I'll say hang hang the hangman Adam Page wins. And you know what? That's AEW Revolution. So wait a second. Let's see if I can find this other little outro. Let's see here. Maybe it's this one. Yeah. So, yep, so this, these are my predictions for AEW Revolution. So, yeah, start the revolution. Wait, turn the page. Let's see here. Here we go. Because AW wants to start the revolution. Turn the page. Resistance. What is that stage? Yep, lost awesome. it. Rebels in the distance, what's our stage? So, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's something different. Wanted to make it a little bit more exciting for you guys out there. Get on behalf of the one, the only Hobo Tom. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, remember, I am Hijo del Hobo El Vagabundo. Dos! Again, enjoy Bike Week, enjoy the pro wrestling. Um, don't get involved in massive accidents on the highway of death here. Yeah, that's bad. See everyone later.